Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you about this Mac application called Stomp. What Stomp basically does is it compresses and converts videos into other formats and you can also select from a whole range of video filters to add a bit of style to your videos. So let's load it up. So first I'm going to be doing an overview of the application and then I'm going to go on to my review of it. So as you can see you have a whole bunch of built in presets down the left hand column to here. You have Apple Animation, Apple Intermediate, Apple TV, Blip.TV, Blip.TV Small, H.264, Half Size, High Compression, iMovie Huge, uh, 16 to 9 ratio, iMovie Huge, 4 to 3 ratio, iMovie Large, 16 to 9 ratio, and iMovie Large, uh, 4 to 3 ratio. You then have iPhone and then iPhone Cellular iPod 4th generation and below, iPod 5th generation and above, NTSC H.264, NTSC lossless, PAL H.264, PAL lossless, web 800 by 600 and YouTube. And the YouTube one I don't use at all because it's not that great. And But you can also even add your own preset down here and then you can lock it, lock the changes or unlock the changes. So I'm going to add my own preset and call it test. I did make this video before but I decided to remake it. So then you have recompress video, leave video untouched, remove video, recompress video, audio, recompress audio sorry, leave audio untouched or remove audio. You then have use video FPS of source movie, change aspect ratio so you can change the ratio to 16 to 9 and so on. You then have crop video, you can choose the crop size, change video size and you can have less box, cropped or fit dimensions. So that is it on the presets. I made this video before to the right. Here is a little sample video I made to show you. And then you can go into filters. So I'm going to go into filters and then you can add your filter. So I'm going to add, show you all the presets and then I'm going to add a few. So you have color adjustment, uh, color effects, sharpen, blur, half tone effect, distortion effect, stylize, tile effect, geometry, geo, geomet, yeah, don't know how to say that, adjustment, uh, comp, operation, I don't know how to say these words, so guys, gradient generator, okay, so, that's going to annoy me now, uh, composite, composite, there we go, and geometry, and so I'm going to add this, add a, uh, a filter to it, so I'm going to add color effects, false colour. So as you can see it gives it a different colour and you can change that. So I'm going to change that to blue. And you can adjust up, down, up and down. So I'm going to delete that now. Uh, to show you the size difference I think I did my test one before, this one here, and then did process. It turned out to become really really small file size. So I'm going to overwrite that. So, ah. I'm going to overwrite that. And then it comes up with the ETA down here, telling you what minute, what hour, and what day it will be finished. So it's saying it will be finished at the exact same time. Okay, so now it's finished. I chose to uh, make it 50% smaller. Uh, absolute, uh, no, sorry, 50% smaller. The fit dimensions and the settings were these. I didn't change the audio. So now I'm going to load the two up and show you the two differences. So here is the original one, nice and big. Here is the smaller one, still perfectly good quality. And then you have this one, good quality as well. So, yeah. So as you can see, this is perfect quality still, and the whole video plays fine. Now I'm gonna show you the file size difference. So this is the original, 35 megabytes. And here is the modified one, which just came out of Stomp, and it's 580 kilobits, so that is smaller than a megabyte, guys, that is tiny. And so basically it does what it says in its name, it stomps the video, it makes it uh, much smaller. So, yeah, that's what it does. You then have a little preview up here of the video, and now I'm going to go into Preferences, show you a bit in there. You have General, and you can choose where you want to save the f uh, file uh, exactly. 
without being asked. You then have temporary files, you can choose that. You can choose to use Grail or not. What that does is it basically comes up with a notification at the top right hand corner saying video uh, process is done, starting and so on. You can then choose the maximum amount of tasks allowed at one time. So I'm going to change that up to three. You then have QuickTime. You can choose the components you want. And then under support you have draw crop outline and so on. Another thing I'm going to show you is the crop video. So you can crop the size. So let's make. So I'm going to make it 780, 720 by 480, and then you can choose what section you want, which is really handy. And then you can resize that. So say if I don't want my dock shown, I can crop it down to that, and so on. So there you go, guys. That is my little overview of the application. Stomp is a great application, and here is my view coming up. It is a great application. I give it a four out of five on performance because it's quite quick, but it's not as quick as it can be because Visual Hub is lightning quick uh, but 5 out of 5 for ease of use, it's just so simple guys it's a great application, go check it out, the link might be in the description to the right and yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, 